Alright guys, welcome back to some more workers and resources. So, this is the map that we had set up. <clears throat> On the Ireland modded map. I was just noticing. There's not much in the bottom corner here. Like, I know he added towns from... Um, People's requests, but uh, the whole of the southeast only has two towns. <laughs> Mine should be around here. Anyway, like I said, we'd set this up. <clears throat> We've got to import a load of stuff from the get go, including our gravel and stuff, so I'm going to start upgrading the roads. And then we have to set up. Yeah, asphalt and concrete. We have to set up the plants for that because we can't import it. <clears throat> if we can get in the bitumen and all that stuff. <clears throat> but we can't actually import. Oh, well, actually, we could, I suppose we could bring in the asphalt there. We could get the concrete, though, right? We've got storage for it. But uh, that's what we're going to be running off of, is our imports. So we're not on full realistic, because there's no custom house on this map. Hmm. So there's no way to get population or vehicles in. Unfortunately, but it is what it is. Now we have coal down in West Cork, Perry, <laughs> iron mainly up in Donegal, <clears throat> a bit of oil in the Midlands, a bit of uranium over in Galway Mayo, makes sense, Northern Clare in the Burn, and then bauxite over in Wicklow and Wexford. Which is fair enough. I was going to put the research on though, wasn't I? Was I going to do that? <clears throat> so now we would have to get um, all that stuff. We kind of know where it is anyway, because it's looking over the map. But uh, we won't be able to extract any of it <clears throat> until we get uh, our universities up and running and such. And then for radio station, television station. We don't need that. We're not doing crime and justice either at the moment. Population monitoring station requires a pollution. Oh, sorry, pollution monitoring station requires a pollution detector research. There's a couple of things then that are going to require that as well. If we go into the distribution centers, yeah. Distribution offices require distribution research. So we're only going to have the free ones. NML, how are you? What's wrong? <clears throat> right, so what are we going to start at? Well, we'll start by unpausing the game. <laughs> We're currently um, offloading our fuel. Not going to be able to get it all out, but most of it on our dirt roads. And again, he's fueling up everything here. We have buses running.
Oh, he's going back to the construction office. Okay. <clears throat> Need an alcohol plant? <laughs> Hey, look at that. We don't need research. <laughs> don't need that. Alright, so we've got our first upgrade going on there. What are we going to start with? I suppose we're going to start with um, timber, right? The less stuff we have to import, the better. <laughs> like we can do timber up here near Mallow. Get that running. Then gravel. Where do we want to do gravel? We were saying like bauxite up in the Wicklow Mountains. That's a good distance away, but obviously we have other towns that we can pull people from. Road upgrades are going to be nasty. What did we say was over here? I can't remember what was in... <laughs> I can't remember what was there already. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. If we do... We do gravel there easily enough. <clears throat> not crazy, but that, that one's not too bad. We don't have a free excavator because we're doing the road. It's fair. We do have realistic building on, but um, we do have to be able to buy in vehicles. There's no mechanism for us to import them. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I suppose we're going to get want to get water and electricity, I suppose. And we have basic electricity. We have to get that up and running to get the ports working. So that we could actually bring in our resources. And have it functional. And um, I suppose before I I'll do another save as Irish Republic setup. Just so that I, I can put it up in a Google link or something. Google Drive link. Right. <clears throat> we spent about two hours setting this up to get a, to get it to be functional. So now we're working on actual resources and such. So we're going to want to get water in Cork. An actual water system. Oh, that's a switch. I would like a We'll have that. We're gonna want a water treatment plant. <clears throat> Which is going to need chemicals. We didn't import chemicals yet, did we? No. I don't think we can create chemicals. No. <laughs> the water might be a thing. <clears throat> well, water treatment might be a thing. Oof. We can't just get it from custom says because there's no custom says and then we'll have to do sewage
Water quality is 77%, water quality is 95%. Okay, so we won't be doing that. We'll just be doing the uh, standard well. A water treatment plan right there. <laughs> Be doing a pump. Um, is it T to flip? It is T to flip. We'll do a pump there. And then we need a substation. Although we'll need a switch. We do a switch there. Right outside the church, no problem. They wouldn't complain about something like that, would they? Uh, if you hold down shift, you can get rid of those lines. So, we can do a substation here. That will cover all of this. So that we're gonna have to go to underground mode. How do I? Oh, it's CUNY, right? Yeah. Been a while since I played this. <clears throat> right, and that'll do that. Excuse me. And then I'm wondering, do we build its own electricity over here that we can connect into the grid later? We'll do a wind farm across the coast here. Again, I'm sure they'll love it. Do medium voltage. Oh, interesting. Anyway. We'll be doing that, and then we'll be getting some wind turbines, which we can't do anymore. Awesome. Because <laughs> oh, we need to research it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm after developing a, a cough. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna get um, power cables. We're gonna go around the town. They will go across the river. Get that going. We'll get Cork some electricity at least. So we can pop a substation in town. Again, we'll pop it on church grounds because through those guys. Now, maybe if we connect it in here. We'll be missing two houses if we do it there. Perfect. <clears throat> Let me see if we can get it to there. Fine, and then we pop it in there.
and that will get electricity and water into Cork. Yeah, the boys are on the move. Hey, Mucky, how's it going? And is that little road section done? It is. <clears throat> so I can clear. This was a temporary dirt road. To facilitate that. And eventually we're just going to upgrade everything. Again, we don't have asphalt at the moment. I don't even think I have bitumen imported. So uh, we won't be working with asphalt for a little bit. Oh, now that I think about it. Are we going to build anything? We only have two outputs. We're going to need to get bitumen in. Which I think was the plan here. I think the plan here was just to fill that up with what we can. And then we're going to have to send him off to get bitumen. I don't know if I can hold uh, even that one. Needs, yeah. Ugh. I don't even know if that's gonna work. Can can our guys take directly from the ship for bitumen? It's like if I send him out and get ten percent bitumen. And I have to hope that the guys can um, take directly from the port here. I presume they can. Yeah, we're gonna need asphalt for everything. Except the cables. I didn't even think of it. Alright, we'll let that fill up. Push comes to shove, we're going to have to dump about a thousand tons of oil. That'd be no biggie, right? Oh, you've already built that? Lovely. Yep, we're going to, step by step, improve these roads. Can't do anything until we get asphalt sorted. All right. <laughs> Fortunately, they only carry eleven tons each. <laughs> so it's going to take a minute. Does this have? No, it doesn't only has an input. If it had an output, we could do like an underground pipe over to that. That would be awesome, but nope. Ugh. Well, 
It's all part of the challenge, right? We're not going to need much. The thing here is that uh, we're always going to have to build a second dirt road because of where our gravel is. So uh, we'll gravel that next. That has everything it needs. Just going to gravel this. go to the correct road. <laughs> but they can work on that. Our cables are going up. They'll get the whole way across and then um, eventually this will get filled up. <laughs> so if I say to him then that he's going to go out and get 10% asphalt or bitumen. When we're ready. Hopefully. That would be what, 250 tons? Mm. 277 tons. A lot of bitumen. Eventually we'll get to a point where we're not importing anything, we'll start exporting, build up the towns. We need to before um, we run out of population. trees stop running uh, we'll know what's sorted can he go and get two do I need to dump that Can he do both? I think I send him out without dumping the, the fuel. If it's a problem, we'll know, and then we'll have to dump it, but... I'd be hoping we don't. Uh, 
Uh, so what we'll do is set up the road. to me. Right, fine. We're going to go this way. <clears throat> right. um, I probably won't stream tomorrow. But I don't know. We shall see. A slow start. Yeah, we'll probably do. We'll just do the timber here. <coughs> God damn it! And <coughs> we'll do the gravel up around here. So between Mallow and Nina, we'll set up bus stops and bus routes and so on. I think we have plenty of people waiting to work. And passengers. We do have a couple of mods, um, so like churches and so on, uh, which are here. <coughs> and you don't need asphalt, so we could actually do that. Yeah, do that. <coughs> that will give them a place to go pray. All the good it's going to do them. Dumper coming for that. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I do have seasons off because I can't be dealing with the winter on this map at the moment. We had a custom house, maybe. Pile it in to do the work, but uh, there's nothing to be done yet. Depot? No, see all construction office. Oh, they're doing the groundwork, of course, yeah. <coughs> So our dump trucks should be finishing up this road. There go. And <clears throat> the next two steps are going to be a long section. Up out a little bit. Right, have you filled up? Nearly. <clears throat> that, that looks like it's the last one. So, go do that. Hopefully this will work.
Oh, sorry, my voice is in bits tonight. Well, that's our lifeline. Heading off to Cherbourg. <clears throat> All right, that road is done. All right, next up. That little section and then that section. We'll get that done. Uh, in the meantime, they're starting work on <clears throat> the church. Plenty of people to work in there, so that's great. It'll be the same over here once we get resources. But this is the, the, the big project is going to be um, upgrading this road the whole way so that at least they can travel there in a decent amount of time. And then eventually like we'll do an airport. Mm. Maybe not right outside Dublin, maybe up here between Drahada and Navin. But by the state time we're able to build that, you know, we should have uh, proceeded a, a decent amount. He's still outbound. And then the secondary road, you're ready to start over here. Hey, Blarg. <coughs> Outside of <laughs> Subject Dublin. Yeah. Well, historically, um, Limerick was the communist city. Around 1916, but uh, the IRA didn't like that, so they put him down. Didn't want it interfering with the rebellion. <coughs> oh, now did he bring in what I need him to bring in? No. I need to dump that fuel. Oh. Turn around, buddy. <laughs> Does he have to come to here to turn around? We just dumped a thousand tons of uh, fuel into the ocean. Alright, he's starting work on that. Good, good, good. We have about 900 tons of gravel left. Uh, we have a bunch of coal. <clears throat> like, we didn't set up a coal power plant or something. <laughs> uh, different IRA. 1920s uh, IRA was very different to the 1970s IRA. Man, he used about half his fuel doing that and didn't bring anything. Better turn around. Or is he going to come back for fuel? Uh, like we said, we need him to bring in <laughs> a bit of bitumen.
so that we can get asphalt and get things actually up and running. Do we have a bunch of trucks on their way down to that church? No. They're still doing groundworks. Because my guys are prioritizing the road, which is fair enough. <coughs> Just 89 tons for that road. Now, way with you. you. Didn't even fuel up. Another 131 tons of bricks. Plenty of prefabs and steel. Fine. So this distribution office is going to need a dump truck. <clears throat> it's great because it carries 25 tons, but it's so slow. I think we'll just go with the standard. And again, we don't have any um, custom sales, so we're buying in the vehicles direct. No way to get them otherwise. Um, because I'm going to want that. Supplying this. With gravel and bitumen. And what do you need? Cement. Right. We can do cement storage, right? That does not need well it needs concrete <clears throat> oh wait <laughs> you don't need concrete good get concrete we're going to need to bring in Cement, dry bulk. And I didn't build a storage for cement. We have 40 tons of storage. Cement. Oh God. Do I get him to go back up to the dock in Dublin? And then are we going to have to buy another ship? By the river cargo ship. Just have it bring in cement. Did I not do that on the other ship? Am I being blind? Hold on a minute. Oh great. <laughs> We're buying more gravel. Sweet. I clearly didn't. That is a huge oversight. We do have bitumen coming in. <laughs> Great. Mm. 
<clears throat> and our free bus stop. So, yes, you can load up on stuff in the harbor. Good. But I need to allow you to load up on stuff in Dungarvan. Straight away, he's out doing his thing. He will supply that. I'm hoping once the ship actually docks, this guy is going to supply the, uh, the bitumen. And then we're going to need to set up a bus route. Get workers out there. <clears throat> and then I do think I'm going to have to move this guy to Dublin. I'm going to buy the riverboat. We're going to set up a route so he's going to go beyond the borders. He's going to load up with not much. Although, how much is he going to carry? 76 tons, so. No, oh, that's fine. He can load up with cement. <clears throat> and then he's going to go to Cork. Um, do I need him to bring in anything else right now? really but he can go do that it's he's gonna be very slow this thing travels at nine knots riverboat goes at about five yeah it's gonna be a minute oh excellent that road is done which means I can get rid of that other road Probably shouldn't have got rid of that part, but anyway. Do that, it's not janky at all. And we'll start upgrading this section. Yes, he did go collect bitumen. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Alright, so then now we just need to get a bus over there. And I think the only bus we have running at the moment. is the permanent construction office. Uh, not that. I want to get vehicles. There's a vehicle list here somewhere, right? <clears throat> yeah, we only want one bus and it's working for the construction site, so we need to buy an in bus. Uh, 
and um, so the Yall Construction Office is taking workers from Dungarvan. Okay. So we'll get you to take workers from Cork. You're gonna bring them to here. That will allow us to get asphalt. They'll be okay without drinking water for a while. If I unpause it. <clears throat> This, of course, could be a failed experiment. What are we buying on import? Oh, gravel. Okay, Jesus. I forgot. <laughs> it's like, where's all my money going? <clears throat> that scared the hell out of me there for a second. Uh, how's this going? Missing point zero 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 ton of a gravel. Finish the groundwork stage. We are taking one worker to the asphalt plant. They're all getting sucked in there, I guess. Oh yeah. So this is the thing that happens. Um, population we're gonna start draining it everywhere until we can get resources in here like the second you put down a um a bus stop it may seem fine that's good So why are they okay? Yeah, they don't have power, that's fine. Their only complaint is they don't have power. I don't see how you have water either. But, uh... I'll take it. <laughs> There's no one left in somebody's houses. Unable to get food and clothes. Yep. No one lives there. Have we produced any asphalt yet? Is he even here yet? He must have been, right? Oh no, there he is. Wait, no. Where is my other boss? Oh, there he is. Don't tell me that was too far. He might have to go to uh, Dungarvan as well. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, right. We're gonna change that up. You're going to Dungarvan. Any room in any of these houses, actually? Because no, they're all right. I need to get this going. <laughs> Gravel boat is on its way back. Our uh, river boat is. Rain being in on the ocean. And we'll eventually come back with cement. I do have a concrete truck, I don't care. people out of Cork. Oh, they only have four hours traveling in that? Well, that would make a lot of sense. Why is that? It's going for fuel. He can make it back, hopefully. One thing I did hate about this game is the travel time. It's like, you would put people on a bus that go, whatever, to about there. And then they disappear. It's like, come on. Ah, you beckers. <clears throat> they were never going to get there. Add the um, thing, <coughs> thing to that as well.
I don't need workers going there. I don't need workers going there. Oh, are you kidding? He got there first. Or at least he got those workers. I <laughs> just want to get some asphalt. New vehicle type, new forklift. Church is getting built. Needs workers. So, that'll happen. That's fine. There we go. We're actually getting workers into the asphalt plant. Now, I need someone to collect it. Which is going to be the other problem. <clears throat> oh, you don't have that on your list, do you? That's right. Let's put this on the list. Also, it should have been the tank that I um, added to the thing. the problem here now that um, they're not going to come pick that up or is it that um, it ran out of workers before they came and picked it up hey Delveth eh, not too bad trying to figure out a few things here if this map is workable or not Voltage switch is on. Sorry, high voltage wires is on it. There's no selected source of workers. at the station. Don't give a damn. I have it said that this is the pickup for asphalt. <clears throat> yeah, they should be loading like there. at the station you have the medium voltage switch you have the medium voltage wires and the church neither of you have this what's what did I add this to I never confirmed it don't mind me I'm an idiot be cool if you will Firm things.
Oh god, it's gonna load it. Not gonna load like that, is it? Every time. Line up, put in, wait until loaded. The concrete plant can't produce concrete. Rude. Well, I guess we're doing half a ton of asphalt at a time. Great. <laughs> do I have other ways to do that? I don't. side I can produce it like the water substation okay the water substation doesn't need much good you don't need much you could actually get done in one run Excellent. If we get onto larger buildings, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. Okay, good. You're on the construction office. That's fine. I presume that's what. No. finish the church nobody lives here <clears throat> population has dropped by about 300 um, since we started since we started setting up the map worst comes to worse our push comes to shove is the phrase uh, we'll buy a passenger ship before we run out of money you're bringing in the cement um, I'm going to need something to transport said cement. I should have got him to get chemicals as well. Oh, I actually have to... Of course I have to buy a specific vehicle for cement. What kind of game did I think this was? Right, we have this section of road done. We're gonna make a dirt road over there so that we can um, upgrade this road. what we're going to do with um, waste. Alright, great. Church is up and running.
that's one of their <laughs> many critiques that we have thwarted out on this side of town. Don't you dare. And then when you go back, pick up chemicals as well. <clears throat> okay. That is going to allow us to build, well, create concrete. Which we can't store either. So I do need to see your gravel. They're also gravel. I need to see a truck coming in here and staying for more than a split second. Way out of the way. Okay. Get that pathway out of the way as well. That's what's doing it. Go. Go like that. And then. You can't have a road <clears throat> and a pathway emerging on the same node. Screws things up, and there we go. And also, our dude has gone away to get the cement. Like I said, though, the main thing I want to see is someone stay here for more than a second. Oh, I can build a... No, that's the cement side of what I'm thinking. We get on here. Oh, look, we're waiting on asphalt. We could have seen that coming.
So I've set I've that set to not take workers yet, but uh Bring that down a bit. How many workers have you actually got on you? One. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, you start to get no one living in these places. That's the thing. <clears throat> so I don't know if it's going to be possible to do it on this... Uh, setting. don't think it's going to be possible. See, now you have a bunch of workers. I don't know if he can make that drive in four hours, though. I guess we can see with, um, with this one, right? Total traveling time is 3 hours and 15 minutes. Traveling time in vehicle is 1 hour. Ah. Alright then, let's um... And in there, and then we're gonna pop in there. <laughs> so you can alternate between the two. Now, how long have you got left in your shift? few hours. Yes. He waited a little bit. That's fine. That's positive. You're still waiting on that. delivering gravel there that's fine hey, I don't have an overabundance of trucks or anything also how are you doing we haven't even touched you yet okay good 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 my one problem is my excavator stuck down there, so I'm going to buy a second one. I love that they get transported on the flatbeds. That's going to allow us to at least finish that road. So I just, I need to get the roads done. <laughs> He's having problems getting more workers now.
Right, I can only take it that he only needed that much gravel or asphalt. So hopefully that's the case. You do need more gravel. Oh good, yeah, because you got 0.67, so you did stay and get some more. Oh, 0 0.067, Jesus. Which is why you had less, okay. Okay. Is that all you needed? 0 0.054. And 4.7. Right. We're going to have to plan ahead here. Where the hell are we going to put this? Nope, not the pub. <laughs> Nobody lives here. Uh, does anybody live in these? No one lives there. <laughs> Not dealing with that now. Grocery kiosk. I also just noticed that they're all walkways and not roads. But you can still drive down them. way too big. That is what she said. The huge footprint. Mm. Nobody in these either, is there? to do it all unrealistic, but um, not possible. I was going to say, you're going to tell me I don't have an excavator. Oh. Can we get two sides in there? Yes. Pop that down there, and then... We can get all of that built. <clears throat> we'll have to import food, but... It's fine, we can send the little dude out to do that. Okay, let's just, uh... sure that he's set for that already we can get the water the electricity and the shop up and running that's going to actually keep people in the town for the most part they'll have power supply drinking water food and clothes well, well food clothes we can worry about later it's cork Get the long stretch of road done here. Do all the niggly bits.
Providing them with electricity. Great. If I was to put a small shop there, like a kiosk. Oh, there's electricity coming in from that side too. Ah, right. Can I fit it in there? Pop a little grocery kiosk there. Yeah, they need to get food, drinking water, bit of an issue as well. We'll sort that eventually. We have many, many things to sort out. Around 4,900 people on the island. Players like they these guys they'll live here for whatever for whatever length. But the second you come near them to do anything, it'll end up like Cork is now. thousand for that okay we can buy one for fifty eight thousand we might have to so many little things to do just to get things working living in Cork anymore. <laughs> Alright, next bunch of resources coming in. A couple of people live over here. Seem to be doing okay. We're gonna go grab the rest of the cement out of there. <clears throat> Loading up on gravel. Hey, Nordic, how he's going? Yeah, previous, right. Trying to make this map work. Right, that's the pumping station. Where do we put the that's the electrics? What's that pumping station connected to? Oh, it's connected straight into it. Okay. 
That would not be nice water to drink, so I can't send that over here. But could, but everyone would die. Not that they're living right now. at this after we started up the stream, the more of a challenge it's going to be. You just need electronics, you can get hooked up to that. Okay. Nice, they've been delivering stuff here. Good, good, good. Oh, did I not set the second? I didn't set the second one to um, <clears throat> three kilometers. My bad. Oh, brought me back to this. Oh, we'd already planned this. Um, we'd set up this map a while back. So, um... I always plan to come back to this game. I love it. The issue with this map is it has no customs <laughs> ports. Get away from the electricity there. That buzzing is driving me nuts. So, um... Yeah, it's actually a major problem because I can't just buy stuff. I need to ship it in. So, um... The problem with that is... You can't just ship in asphalt and concrete. Well, asphalt you can. But I only have two uh, extracts here and they have gravel and coal on them. And I didn't want to <coughs> mess around with that. <coughs> so we have this plant... Um, producing a little bit of asphalt. Then we have a concrete plant here. And then everything else was brought in by a ship. Uh, not that one though. I have another ship up here. Who brought in the bulk of our stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to see if we can make this work. At the moment, we're setting up uh, water and electricity for Cork. And then if I can... I'll probably do a distribution office here. Well, I have a distribution office here. I should probably do another distribution office here. Yeah. To need to move food and stuff from the port around town here. Is that our only option for refrigerated? Kind of sucks. Damn, we're going to have to do that, aren't we? need like a technical office then for oh 
Oh, we can actually do a technical services building? I don't... I don't think we need that right now. deal with all of this. Mm. Bit of water, not going to be an issue. Sewage, we'll have to build it after we do the water. <laughs> um, we'll get rid of it. We're currently upgrading the dirt roads that lead up to our like gravel and coal, our aggregate harbour. Currently doing them up while trying to get uh, all of this infrastructure sorted. So, like we've built most of the stuff. Oh good, the wires are nearly done. What about the pipes? Not too bad on the pipes either, actually. We need boards. We still have boards. Apparently doing the groundworks. And then asphalt there yeah so we're getting there slowly cork will be uh, a bit of a ghost town unfortunately like i can bring in people but i don't want to bring in too many people They will disappear. Can't export? I can export. That's going to be our main thing. But <clears throat> um, currently we're importing because we don't have any production. And we don't have any way to buy resources other than importing through these two ports that we set up previously. So we have to import and get ourselves going before we run out of money. So ideally we'll probably, you know, do boards. It's not going to be a huge money maker. But if it funds everything else, you know, we'll get gravel done as well. Um, we know there's, so there's oil, like somewhere in the Midlands here. That's a good distance away from our ports. Um, gravel we could do here. Um, I think there's coal over here. Hopefully the mountains aren't huge, which is great. Because, you know, Ireland. Um, like, yeah, there's coal around here. Around Killarney and Cork. Like if we could get that, <clears throat> we could export that. Sure, great. But it's um, getting it started is the is the key, and it's not great either. It's not it's not abundant. This was the harder of the two Irish maps. So it's probably going to be like boards and gravel to start, and food. Probably do food. But. We need to get all of that set up before we run out of people and money. The sooner we can get all this done, the better. But 
but I can't get to that. Where's the road connection there? It's here. Nobody lives there. Yeah, this is kind of a challenge. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a challenge. Not that I've ever gone super far in the game anyway. And then I did this to myself. But hey, <clears throat> it is what it is, right? Like, even um, these ports did not exist. We had to set these up. And we set up our basic power and stuff so that we could actually function. None of this was on the map. The Taiwans were, but that's it. You really need to plan wisely? Yeah. Yeah. So I always do that. It's why it's 20 to 1 in the morning. <laughs> Eight work days left on that, so at least we'll get that done. The water substation. You can get done as well. The piping is going to have to be provided by the minibus eventually. I'm going to stop with the roads for a minute. Why aren't you doing anything? There are no workers at the station. Oh, you're still on Dun Garvin. That would be the thing. Not many here either, but. Like I said, if push comes to shove, we'll buy a cheap ship and import people. I don't think we can import residents though, can we? It must be foreign manpower. We won't have immigrants like. I'll have to look at that. I said I still don't know. I don't know if this is even doable. We brought down 10 tons of concrete. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. You actually did the thing. planning wisely I set it up at the start and then I realized I can't get cement because I hadn't put it on the ship that came in that's why we bought this one then I never put cement on this one or food even when I sent this one out I didn't put food on it because I was like no nah, no nah, we don't need that yet but, I'm trying to do. Uh, 
yeah, if we if we can get can get all of this up and running, that'll be fantastic. Can you just make that high priority, please, and get it finished. I'd like to just knock jobs off the list. If at all possible. <clears throat> We still haven't touched that. Actually, is it good that we haven't touched that? Hold on. Probably not, is it? Because do you know why? Not on the second list. Yep, straight away. Dungarvan has become a ghost town now because we have this in it. That's kind of through the light now. Bit of a shame. Uh, what do I need to turn off to stop that happening? Does anyone have a clue about that? I'd rather be able to hold on to the population. It's no, the second you touch a town, <laughs> they start disappearing. Casual, it's just a big stone cliff. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nearly finished. <clears throat> Can they finish before they run out of hours? I doubt it. No, stopped already. You're waiting on asphalt. Waiting on workers. But the bus should be yeah, delivering there. I'll finish off the power lines. that one done. You need a little bit of concrete. You are delivering gravel. Do the water switch. Oh yeah, we have this water switch here. Okay. Four workers need to do 268 days of work. You're waiting on asphalt. Your gravel. We imported 271 rubles of stuff.
last month. Hey, Maniacal. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that earlier. Trying to get stuff done. Still don't know if this is possible on... Well, how I've done it is possible. But let's put it that way. Uh, right, you only need workers, so we'll put you on high priority. Uh, you needed a bunch of stuff. So, you're grand. Anything that only needs workers is going high priority so we can get it finished. means he's not wasting trips going to stuff that doesn't he's going to the water treatment plant uh, that does need workers but that's going to need workers for a long time they're going to have to import workers from uh, other areas Do you know what I'll do? I'll buy that ship because we're probably going to need it. Oh, it's tiny. for immigrants, don't they? Okay. Okay. So I don't need that. I'll, I'll leave it there just in case for later. Two gigs of data. Why am I using data when I'm on my Wi Fi? Because I'm not on my Wi Fi for some reason. What part of uh, area are you from? You're at this area, right? Alright, the groundworks will get done there. that done We're not going to worry about the new vehicle types just yet. Uh, 
you should be getting workers next, right? That's fine. That's done. That piping is done. Is it? No. Alright. You're coming to get 2% of asphalt. Alright, if that's all you needed. Looks like that's all they needed. tons of cement left then he'll head off to get a bit of everything get the food and such that we're gonna need all right you're on that, that's good that's good so we want to set these to high priority because people won't just walk into these jobs so you'll see people walking into this job here there's nothing they can do. But for all of the underground stuff, obviously. I'm going to take a little bit of persuasion. Beautiful. Go to the pumping station. Pumping station is there. Lovely. That just needs a bit of concrete. We'll be on the way soon. Right, we have nothing else going on here except for this. It's fine. Just need some concrete too. Yeah, we just want to get it to a stage where people will stay in the town. That we don't have seasons on, so we don't have to deal with the winter and the heating. We just need to get them the basics of water, electricity, and food. And then, let's say, once you put people into these... Here we go. Parse fly, drinking water, food, clothes, and meat. But uh, we'll get the clothes separately. We'll get the food and meat in first. <clears throat> uh, which we will be able to store here. Well, the food anyway. Hmm. I'm just wondering. Excuse me. Ah, uh, we'll leave it and see. So we have it set up that he's going to go out and collect um, cement, meat, chemicals, and food. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see. Cause, um, he could end up running out of one thing and then being stuck there until he's unloaded. is not idle that's what I wanted to see got the pathway done just need a bit of concrete there um, the concrete mixer was heading down this way though yeah to the pumping station perfect that'll get the groundworks done there Then we're just waiting on all this piping to finish. 
15 days left on that. 19 days left on that one. More concrete needed there. And 21 days left there. Plenty to be doing. But I put three workers in there, okay. And some immigrants. That won't be topical at all. We also we did make it harder on ourselves because we picked the minibus that only holds seven people. these bigger jobs. And I do want to upgrade all this road though. the capacity of you 170 tons of boards that wouldn't even cover his fuel would it problem this thing holds like 2700 tons right no, 258 tons of oh no no there we go 2,580 tons of boards he could export at a time if he wasn't doing their imports. Alright, where are you off to? I guess that one. We don't have a crane. Though well, that wouldn't help here because it's underground. Uh, multiply this. A crane. Uh, it's a road crane. Mm -hmm. Go and get refueled and then head off somewhere. Do something. That's thirteen days. <laughs> we'll soon get the people of Cork running water and electricity. Which one did you put that into? I went to that one, yeah, okay. 
getting there. The crane is heading to unfinished, unfinished plumbing too. Okay. Is the crane going to the pipes? Be kind of hilarious. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Shame he didn't go to the one that he actually put people into. Yeah, he'll be back around in a minute. <clears throat> that is all gonna help us get things done though. pop a road over there and then we're gonna bend the gravel <laughs> like there's people in these houses so which is grand because we bought them in there's nobody over here If you're dropping people in here, that'd be great. Okay. You can see the day is ticking down a lot faster now. Okay. Done. Nine days left on that. Thirteen days. He's gone up to this one, it looks like. Mind, he's gonna sit in that. All right, boss. <clears throat> gonna finish this one. No. Building is not finished. I know it's not finished. That's why I want it to be your workplace. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, we have an excavator working there. We have one dump truck left working in the construction sites. Um, do I have another free one that I can pop down? Are there no limit to them? Seven. Speed things up a little bit. I might even buy another dump truck and another concrete mixer. Hmm. Do you know what? Another micro bus. Nine days left on that one. Four days left there. And 
we have the big work. 46 days left on that. Oof. Gonna suspend the construction here until everything else is built. Kind of hoping he doubles back onto something else now. He's going to the shop. Okay. That's fine. We'll live with that. Can you guys actually get that done? I think they might need one more round of workers there. Be a huge step forward, though. Get all these done. short, aren't they? Point zero zero nine tons of electronics left to be dealt with. I don't know if I'd have gall to leave a job like that. First thing is we don't have a bus stop over here. But um people across the river are not gonna be able to get here <laughs> to use it. So we're gonna have to put a bus stop over here when we actually have people staying. nearly done that is nearly done they're gonna run out too <clears throat> oh I didn't know you could customize that huh All right, there's that one done more of these little jobs we can get done um, the more focused they can be on getting other things done. Excellent. Yeah, it's just about workers. Um, I'm going to hire people to come in. construction <clears throat> I'm gonna say if people want to work walk into a couple of jobs there that's no problem <laughs> there we go that was a waste 
That's kind of huge that we get that done. Um, go do the thing, buddy. Go get us some food and stuff. <clears throat> don't crash. Oh my god, don't crash. doing there good we've got that kind of done so let's um this little bit of road <clears throat> i can do that one too I can do that one too and then we'll be able to get rid of the dirt roads actually get rid of this dirt road already Except the excavator wants to take it. Oh. oh, it starts with boot? Oh, that's actually good. Didn't realize that. Hey, plumber. Uh, yeah, I'm on a week off. And I'm probably not streaming in the morning, so... <clears throat> Better do, uh... Do a bit tonight. Also, I think I might be coming down with something. Just pretty standard for when I go on holiday. saying oh electronics and hospitals drinking water meh beckers are always wanting more the old sewage discharge right into the harbor that'll be fine right This is very poor water pump. Uh, we're using an underground water pump because it'll have better water quality. Boy, I don't need to buy chemicals. Crap. You have to have tooth surgery four days before you go on vacation. Oh, beautiful. Say that is not the way to the car bus stop. I start feeling sick. I still paying down some Corona and Jameson. Also a bad influence. <laughs> I stay up late playing video games for no reason. Whiskey's good too. Not a fan of whiskey.
Um, Jamison is whiskey, yeah. Is indeed. Crossing not allowed. Crossing what? What do you want about? He literally let me do the road there and then told me I couldn't do it. <clears throat> nope. And do this one. Good stuff. Sure it is. Good. Not a whiskey drinker myself. Hmm. Bomb in 30 days now, that's good. Imagine we could soon have water and electricity for all the people living here. You got some stories, I bet you do. So we want to put people into these houses up here. And I kind of want to get rid of this house. And we want to get rid of this. Then we're gonna put in a bus stop. Oh, that's a huge thing, isn't it? I need to get rid of that walkway there. Okay. I need the bus stop here so that we can actually utilize this side of town. So. <clears throat> Can we get it there? Can. That's a shame, man. <clears throat> That's not long enough to get some. Is there anyone in that house? No, the house can go. What we're using our dollars for mainly is just to sort out the issues so we have a little bit of playing playroom. Just make that a maze of walkways. <laughs> All those houses should be replaced with statues. We can stick one in there. With our limited resources, I'm sure that's exactly what um, would have happened, right? <clears throat> Priorities and all that. Did it not put in the walkway? No. Ah. How dare you disgrace them like that. Or Christmas lights? We could have gone for that, but we don't have the grand monuments. <laughs> yeah. Just stick it in at the side of the church. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, these guys are not going to have um, access to much. Eventually, we're going to move them over here when we actually have um, one person can't work due to sickness. I'll start this crap now. Heard of the like? Wait, can you actually cover? walking and that's one thing but we can buy ambulances <clears throat> and then we could put it there yeah say so we put it here Even give it a gravel road. Unheard of in these times. Gotta remember, this is cork. <clears throat> the larger buildings are so simple, but love the architecture. I guess so. Oof. Seventy three days, thirty eight days, we're getting there. Got some Galwegians up here. Bring down some of them. They'd hate this. This would be hell for them. Living Cork. <laughs> and um, Dungarvan is. in a bit of bother. get one worker to go in there every now and then. There we go. We could actually get food in this area. <laughs> See? Priorities. Don't worry about the hospital. Get the statues up. We have all our workers. All our workers are walking in to do work on the statues. Like, we don't want water, we don't want electricity. We want statues to Lenin. We're going to have to upgrade um, all these roads to gravel as well. We're going to have to make that a priority, get the town upgraded to gravel. Once we finish this construction, when there's no need for anything else to go through the town, we need to upgrade all the roads to gravel. 
so that people can walk a bit further. But I need them to walk far enough to get here. But I wonder. Oh yeah, I could probably put a pathway here, which will help. Oh, there's a pathway here. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> so we'll do that. Love that sound. Connect this here when this road is done. I still think we'll, we'll definitely upgrade all this to gravel, maybe asphalt. If we're not doing any, anything else, we might as well do the asphalt there, right? Because um, we still have the production here. Okay, we have the potential for a lot of production of asphalt, so we might as well do this when we can. Gonna make it so people can walk further <clears throat> which will just make all of these buildings cover more area <coughs> Excuse me. i need that and we'll say that to overlap with this because that's basically the furthest they can go so now that I'm thinking about it, we could actually probably... Do that now. Mm. Start upgrading these footpaths. I'm going to see if I invite immigrants here they'll, they'll last a while hopefully they go there to work not a huge amount else they can do which is good don't have a power supply <clears throat> this gets finished and that'll get finished pretty soon where are you going to work oh well, that's okay yeah there we go we've got workers in there but we've got nothing to do but you do need chemicals okay <clears throat> i do like that it gives you a little bit done on statue one So we actually have electricity in the town, generally. Uh, we're having issues with garbage already. So...
Let me hold 80 tons. Uh, uh. I I thought. Um, right. I want to dump out there. If any of our construction offices can reach that. They can't. Add to the list. Uh, bend that. <clears throat> Alright, you started doing this. So, next is... We're going to do asphalt roads. At least to the, the town limits. I won't do that for the moment. I don't have a roller or um, anything like that, so it's going to take a while. The roller there. We'll buy that. And then the other thing is the paver. Paver. <clears throat> These make a huge difference. Get that in there. And I was kind of hoping he would be around and he'd actually transport the paver down. But it's fine. Get everything done here eventually. <coughs> hey, Toady. How's it going? How was your stream? Are you back doing um, Stone Shard? Nice. Yeah, waiting for the need, the next update for that. One already, okay. Do you know, I think it's doable. It's gonna take a bit of work, but I think it's doable. Uh, you're out there doing that, that's fine. So, uh, we're doing a modded map of Ireland, of course. Um, we had to do a bit of a setup to get it kind of working in kind of realistic mode because there's no customs houses which are usually at the edge of the map here so um we're seeing <clears throat> saw someone try an interesting build and wants to try something fair enough fair enough god we're still not finished with that people can't work due to sickness that's all right proper tavern yeah yeah it's a modern map um so we we had to put in these ports there's no infrastructure on the island at all uh, other than the towns and the roads so we put in this port and um we put in some basic electricity and um, an asphalt and concrete plant another port over here and uh, that did then that was kind of our setup to get going uh, 
Okay, get ready for the bird. Lurk of the stream. No is it? I'm actually probably gonna head off soon now myself. Because it's it's half one in the morning and I am not feeling well. <clears throat> uh, that's that's about to get done. No, that's about to get done. Okay. Grand though, we're getting a bit of that done. <clears throat> hey Vanash, how's it going? Is it any good? If you like transport fever and the like, this is better, <laughs> in my opinion. So like, uh, to, to, to do with transport fever and the like, you kind of just, um, so it's an econ sim, yeah, there's the whole shebang in this. So if we go over, no one lives there anymore. Currently, um, sorry, there's a bunch of settings for realism. So you can have your unsatisfied citizens, blah, blah, blah. Energy management, you can have it on vehicles or vehicles and buildings. So all of our vehicles use fuel, as they do in most other games. But they also have wear and tear. Um, so over the years you'll need to get them repaired and all that stuff and um, there's now waste management so if we go in here waste generator there this one is actually um, overflowing so it's a health risk which is what i'm doing here i'm actually getting a dump built but nothing is simple this dump is about to be finished which is great but um, anything you build is going to take a bunch of resources and um... uh oh manor oh you're talking to the publisher yeah but it horse is doing a lot of good stuff but yeah there's pollution you can have your whole the full education system on so if you go in here like this is, uh, you know there's workers there's uh, there's children with all different levels of citizens and stuff so that can all add to like what you have available and um, other words there's full city building in it uh, there is full city building in it and resource management and all that there's there's full full systems in it it's 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 pretty damn cool <laughs> Let me save this. Um, nope, save as. Saving it as. Come on. Let's go to the main menu. <clears throat> Can I load? What the hell did I have done in this? I don't know what I did in this one. There might be nothing done in this one, actually. I think it's the My Republic one I want to load. I would like I was going to say, um, yeah, if you're putting down like a building and stuff, you need like an excavator to help dig out the ground, you need dump trucks, cement mixers, you know, you need all of the utility vehicles and so on. It goes really in depth in that, which is great. Which one is this? Oh, yeah, this is kind of like me planning out a thing. <laughs> so we had like a gravel. This is all built. Um, by me, I didn't get very far in this one, but like I built a rail line already. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I was using cars. That's right. I wanted to use cars. Um, 
So instead of buses, I'm using cars to drive them around just because I'm an idiot. But like, we're also building a railway. <clears throat> we have plans for a port. Um, plans to come up here and do oil. And we're going to build a town here. This is our town plan so far. I didn't do any of this on this is just my own thing I was messing around with then I think this one is one where I have a bit of infrastructure and stuff well not infrastructure but I have a uh, working rail lines and stuff or uh, yep yeah. excuse me Hmm. So I think I have like um yeah coal mine up here disseminating down uh, into a an ore processing plant and a coal power plant so we're exporting power when we can I think um I think my stuff has just got jammed up I built a rail line exporting boards because why not we're also exporting coal stuff like that and uh i will yeah i was connecting the two customs houses i'm going to do a big farming and food operation over here As you can see, we have the tractors and harvesters and everything in here ready to go <clears throat> when it gets to the sowing season, currently September. Uh, these are the customs houses, which are not on our Ireland map. So you can um, buy and sell goods here, which is kind of key when you're early game. Because um, we started this map with no... Um, towns or anything on it so it's just pure and obviously that the maps are huge as well which is sweet so like all that stuff that i built is just here we've literally just encroached in on the map and i had a plan to come down here <clears throat> you can build airports and everything in this you can do uh, airplane manufacturing i had a plan here for a harbor because I want to export stuff through the harbor because I love me some boats so like we were extending the railroad down to here and then yeah but yeah the possibilities in this game are kind of insane so I planted all these trees everywhere as you can see around my uh, my logging industry got our forklifts running over and back <laughs> because again why why connect directly when you can have forklifts driving around logging vehicles there is a bit messed up actually yeah, it's wearing tears at 72 percent but he should really be heading over here to the vehicle repair station but it has no workers Um, so yeah, the game is kind of nuts. But anyway, I'm going to call there, guys, because I need to go to bed.